The much-anticipated passport-free travel agreement between Zimbabwe and Botswana has hit a major snag, with Botswana suspending talks for the third time, sending ripples of disappointment through the region. This latest setback comes after a series of events that have cast a shadow of uncertainty over the proposed agreement, raising questions about the future of seamless travel between the two neighboring countries. The initial enthusiasm surrounding the agreement, which was in line with regional and continental aspirations to facilitate the free movement of people across borders, has been tempered by concerns over its potential implications. The agreement, already being implemented in East Africa and Europe, promised to ease travel restrictions and boost economic activity between Zimbabwe and Botswana, within the broader East African community. Uganda, Rwanda and Kenya have already embraced passport-free travel, allowing citizens to traverse borders without the need for formal documentation. Botswana and Namibia, in a landmark move last April, became the first countries in the Southern African Development Community SADC, to abolish the use of passports for their citizens. The Zimbabwe-Botswana agreement, however, has encountered a series of hurdles. The initial positive discussions held last year were thrown into disarray when President Emerson Umningagwa prematurely announced the agreement during a festival, catching Botswana off guard and causing widespread confusion among officials and the public alike. The decision to suspend talks was influenced by concerns raised by Botswana's parliamentarians, revealed a source within Botswana's Ministry of International Relations. Members of parliament expressed apprehensions about the potential implications of the agreement on public safety and the economy. A report published by the Gazette, a credible source within Botswana's government, further highlighted the public's unease. Consultations with the public revealed significant opposition to the agreement. The report stated, This opposition is believed to stem from concerns over Zimbabwe's economic challenges and their potential impact on Botswana. The concerns raised by Botswana's parliamentarians and the public underscore the delicate balance that needs to be struck between regional integration and national interests. Botswana, known for its cautious approach to regional agreements, has already implemented a passport-free travel arrangement with Namibia. The government had also been exploring similar agreements with other neighboring countries like Zambia. However, plans for the Zimbabwe deal are now on hold as authorities continue to assess public sentiment and consult with stakeholders. In January this year, at a media briefing after the fourth session of the Zimbabwe-Botswana Binational Commission Summit in Botswana, President Sumingagwa and President Makwitsi Masisi reaffirmed their commitment to facilitating seamless movement of people and goods across shared borders to boost economic activity and strengthen regional integration. The history of both countries showed that there was no need for the use of passports to move from one country to another, President Umningagwa stated. Passport requirements were vestiges of a fraught colonial past that was no longer fit for purpose in a fast integrating region. Despite this commitment, the latest suspension of talks highlights the complex challenges facing regional integration in Southern Africa. Botswana's decision to prioritize public consultation and national security concerns reflects a democratic approach to decision-making in matters that could significantly impact national stability. The future of the passport-free travel agreement remains uncertain. Stakeholders await further developments as Botswana navigates the complexities of regional integration while balancing the concerns and expectations of its citizens.